Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is to print some of diagonal elements of a 2D array. So objective of the program is written in the first statement with the help of comment. Then in second statement, I have included a header file which is for printf and scanf. Then main function uh, contains various instructions in which first is variable declaration. In variable declaration, I have declared a 2D array of 3 by 3 dimension. Then other variables are also declared. Then printf statement is used. It will print enter a 3 by 3 matrix masses on console. Then nested for loop is used to read a 2D array uh, from the user. With the help of this scanner statement, all these elements which are entered by the user will be stored on different indexes of 2D array. After completion of reading process, this nested formation of for loop will add all the elements which are available on diagonal of 2D array. So for this purpose, this if condition is used. This if condition is saying that if i is double equals to j, so i is recognizing row index and j is recognizing column index. So if both the indexes are equal, then only uh, the value of a of ij will be added to s. So uh, we uh, all know that if row and column of a uh, matrix are equal, then they represent uh, the uh, diagonal element of that 2D array. So uh, you can easily understand that uh, if uh, rows and columns are equal, then only the element will be added to S, otherwise it will not be added. So after completion of this nested loop formation, this printf statement will print the final value of S on console, which is the sum of that diagonal element. So after uh, completion of this explanation, I am first compiling this code. Uh, number of errors and warnings are zero. So I can execute this code right now. It is asking for a three by three matrix. So I am entering one in each element of 2D array. So it must display output three because uh, the diagonal elements are one, one, one. So uh, it is displaying sum equals to 3. So we can say that output of the program is correct. And with the help of this code, you can display uh, the sum of diagonal elements uh, easily. The uh, This program can also be modified. It means we can also print sum of diagonal element with the help of single loop. So I am modifying this program. And here I am writing s equals to s plus a i i so i am uh, i have used only one loop for addition so you can see that i equals to zero is uh, first initialized then condition is i less than three then i have added s equals to s plus a of i i uh, uh, both time i have used i so uh, the, uh, the statement will become a zero zero it means it will first add zero zero index value uh, with s then i++ plus plus will be executed, then condition is, uh, will be checked. Uh, then s plus a i i means 1 1. So uh, you can uh, identify that all the diagonal elements of a 3 by 3 matrix will be 0 0, 1 1 and 2 2. So uh, right now it is 1 1. So a value of a 1 1 will be added to s that is second diagonal element. Then i++ plus plus will be executed. Uh, now it is 2. 2 is less than 3, condition is true. Then s plus a 2 2. It means element which is available on a 2 2 index will be added to s and it will be uh, stored inside s. So after completion of this loop, this loop will repeat 3 times. So after execution of uh, this loop 3 times, this printf statement will print the sum on console. So now I am exec uh, so, sorry, first compiling this code for error checking. Now I am executing this code again. Again I am entering 1 1 in each elements of 2D array. And uh, this time also it is uh, showing sum which is 3. So you can uh, implement this code uh, by following two different methods. You can use nested for loops as well as you can implement the sum of diagonal elements with the help of only one loop. So uh, do implement this code on your laptop or desktop so that you can understand the logic behind it. Now these are my information. You can uh, 
contact me or you can write any email uh, regarding any difficult topic you can visit my website you can download my app techms from google play store it contains various tutorials about c c++ java php etc you can also download ppts from tutorials.techms.in these ppts uh, will be very useful for your studies and uh, for placement purposes you can read these books on various programming languages and you can watch my youtube channel here i have uploaded various tutorials uh, regarding uh, uh, various programming languages and here you will find uh, you will find out uh, various interview related questions videos also uh, thank you for watching this video